think it's a real rite of passage to make your own Minecraft clone. So I started off just generating a grid of cube meshes in Godot. Instead of using the built-in cube meshes, I was going to generate my own cubes so that I would only create the mesh faces that were going to be visible to the player. Here you can see that there's still the, the faces in the back, which we don't want. It took, it, took a, it took a few tries. It took a few tries to make it show the right faces, and eventually it worked. Now with that in place, I could actually start creating larger chunks, which was quite slow, so I switched it from generating a mesh for each individual block, and instead had it generate a mesh for a chunk. And with that, I could use a bit of 3D noise sampling to create some more interesting terrain. You can still see the separations between chunks, so I, I fixed that. So I loaded into the game with the first-person player controller and promptly fell through the earth because there are no collision meshes. When I first tried implementing collision meshes, the land generated so slowly that I fell into the void anyway. It was around this time that I decided to switch to using 2D noise to generate a height map, but it's kind of upside down. And with that fixed, I was free to fall through the earth into the void once again. For some reason, I forgot that static physics bodies existed, so I made the land chunks into rigid bodies, which are affected by gravity. But once I switched it to static, it worked as intended. Now I needed to give some textures to the train, which as you can see is working perfectly as intended. Now the train is generating and it has proper textures, I started work on having the train generate infinitely, so chunks around the player are loaded and chunks that are far away are unloaded. Godot would crash so much during this because the world generation is on a separate thread from the main game logic and having the two separate threads communicate with each other. It's pretty difficult. I don't really get threading that much. There's a lot of deadlocks. With that done, I started work on making trees. So I drew up some tree textures. I started off by just generating stumps where trees should go just to make sure it was working. Now there's actual tree trunks. And finally, I put leaves on them. I figured out which block the player was facing using a ray cast drew an outline around it, and then I implemented block breaking and block placing. Then I experimented with some more terrain generation. And I started work on the sort of 2D blocks that Minecraft uses for grass or flowers. At some point during this I broke all the textures, but eventually it worked. Uh, then I broke everything again. I also put a label in the top left that'll tell the player what block they have currently selected for placing. Ooh, yeah, then then you can build. Then then it's then it's Minecraft. That, that's basically all Minecraft has, right? It's, you punch trees, you build a house. It's no like mining for coal. There's there's nothing to mine. Like there's no coal, there's no diamonds, there's no ore. And there's there's nothing to actually craft. It's like you can't you can't mine, and, and you can't craft. You can't you can't mine or craft. There's literally there's literally nothing.